Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. Today, we're taking a look at Nightwing 104, Year 1, Part 4 of 6, guest starring Batgirl. We have a very nice cover of Nightwing and Batgirl swinging arm in arm through the city with bats flying behind them and Batgirl throwing batarangs, the two with smiles on their faces. I do really like this image and think it would make an awesome poster. This comic is from April 2005 and once again written by Scott Beatty and Chuck Dixon, drawn by Scott McDaniel, inked by Andy Owens, colored by Gregory Wright, lettered by Phil Balsman, and edited by Nachi Castro. The title of this issue is Night and the City. Anyone else get that Billy Idol song stuck in their head now? We open with the bat signal shining over Gotham. Commissioner Gordon rushing to the rooftop of Police HQ, already drawing his gun. Nightwing swinging down, ready to reintroduce himself to Jim. Gordon is obviously skeptical of the new kid until Dick shows him the badge Jim gave him while working alongside bats. Nightwing says to him, you told me that if I ever needed you, that if I ever needed a friend, that a sheriff always recognizes his deputies. Gordon then tells him to say something. Say something only the kid would know. To which Nightwing responds with, My former associate has a thing for bats. You took up a pipe to quit smoking cigarettes. Wait, how about... Holy mistaken identity! Gordon then calls Dick Robin, but then corrects himself saying, Or did you say Darkwing? Care to explain the masquerade? Dick then tells him he now goes by Nightwing and that he's no longer Robin or Batman's partner. During their conversation, we notice Barbara in the shadows of the stairway, sticking close to the wall, listening to everything. We then go to the Batcave and see Bruce testing Jason, who's taken up the mantle of Robin. He scored in the 95th percentile of the maze, but only because of collateral damage. A battering into the head of a woman, an old woman. It was just a cardboard cutout, but still, Jason says, yeah, well, maybe the old biddy ratted us out to the mox and mob. Bet she was a stoolie. Alfred then brings the red phone to Bruce, telling him he has a call on the special line. We return to Nightwing, jumping off buildings and swinging down to a crime in progress, with Batgirl looking on from above. Two thugs, holding a man in a car at gunpoint, ordering him out of the car. Nightwing lands on the vehicle's roof and proceeds to surrender the duo unconscious. He leans into the man in the car to tell him to stick around and wait for the cops, but notices a dead body in the back seat. I, I know what you're thinking, the man says. Why, why did he put Lola in the back seat? Why not the trunk? Because her mother's in the trunk. Her big, fat mother. I wanted the SUV, the cargo space, I said. The mileage, she said. During the road rage of the man driving off with Nightwing hanging on to the side of the car, someone was watching over Dick. Batgirl drops down on her bat cycle and causes him to crash into a wall, helping Nightwing in the process, and then offers Dick a ride. The two stop by Belly Burger, but Batgirl ends up paying since Dick is no longer funded by a multi-billionaire. Then we get to the point of the comic where Nightwing tries to sleep with Babs, only to have Babs tell him, the Spice Girl, the tall one, with the green eyes, great tan, and legs up to her chin, probably wouldn't stand for Dick taking some other super chick to Inspiration Point, and they should keep it strictly business, to which Nightwing agrees. Once again, returning to the Batcave, we see Bruce placing a micro-tracker on Jason's Robin uniform, all while keeping an eye on everything going on with Dick and Babs. We come to Arkham Asylum, where we get to Joker's cell. Who's there? From outside the door, a response. I see. Joker peers through the slot in the door. I see who? To which a hand comes through, poking Joker in the eyes, saying, You don't see nothing. I, I can't believe I fell for that. Nightwing introduces himself by slamming Joker into the wall. Hey! I know that voice. Boy Blunder. What's with the new duds, Bunky? Daddy wore bats, neglect to do the wash? Playing dress up with that pretty little bat girl? You won't be seeing Robin around anymore, Joker. But that doesn't mean the balance of power has shifted in your favor. 
He jabs Joker in the eyes once again. Nightwing, remember it. What, what kind of name is that? This is a joke, right? Come on out, Bats. You got me. Bats? So, who was the visitor, Joker? Riddler called out from the cell next door. Why don't you go riddle yourself, Eddie? Nightwing and Batgirl pay a visit to a strip club where several local criminals hang out. During their warpath, Babs and Dick banter back and forth as only they can do. Maybe we could form a book club or trade recipes. If I would have told you we were coming to a strip bar, you're right. But the place is crowded with wanted felons, and I actually like working the pole. Maybe we found a sideline for you. The tips are great and you already work nights. They then continue on to My Alibi, where they catch the polka dot, and then head on over to the Iceberg Lounge, where they confront the penguin and introduce themselves. Find me a cop in Gotham that I don't own. To which Nightwing reintroduces Penguin to Harvey Bullock. The mention of Bullock's name sends chills up Penguin's spine, at which point Harvey and a team of cops burst in, taking down everyone in sight, just as Nightwing and Batgirl make their exit. At the Batcave, Batman and Jason are watching everything the pair do, and Bruce tells Jason it's time for him to study. Study all the footage, then it's time for the gauntlet. A final test, nothing fancy. Just a simple game of tag. Overall, I really like this issue. The art was good, and the story was very creative. I really like Batgirl and Nightwing as a dynamic duo in their own right. I honestly like the idea of a Nightwing and Batgirl ongoing comic book series. Maybe it'll happen at some point. Tune in next week when we take a look at Nightwing number 105. Year 1, part 5 of 6, guest starring Robin. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.